How to get rid of bed bugs in your home. Bed bugs are a huge problem for homeowners. These little creatures can be difficult to get rid of, but with the right tips, you can be successful. In this video, we will share 10 practical tips that will help you eradicate bed bugs from your home completely. Keep in mind that bed bugs can be very persistent, so it may take a few tries before you are able to get rid of them for good. Follow these tips closely and you should see results. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those awful bed bugs with the following tips. Get rid of it! Please, note that our first four tips will show you how to reduce infestation and identify areas of infestation. The direct assault on bed bugs starts from tip number five. Tip number one. Reduce clutter around your bed and in sleeping areas so bed bugs have fewer hiding spots. Reducing the clutter around your bed and in sleeping areas can help to reduce bed bug infestations. Bed bugs like to hide in small cracks and crevices, so removing any items that can provide bed bugs with such hiding spots are essential. This includes items such as bed skirts, bedside tables, bed frames, bookshelves, bedding, and other items that may be around your bed. Reducing clutter in these areas will make it easier for you to locate and spot bed bugs, allowing you to take the necessary steps to get rid of them more quickly and efficiently. Remember that bed bugs can hide in tight spaces, so look in these areas when inspecting bed bug infestations. Tip number two. Remove drawers from bedside tables or dressers and check under them for bed bugs. Drawers from bedside tables and dressers can provide bed bugs with an ideal hiding spot. To properly check for bed bugs, remove drawers from bedside tables or dressers and check under them for bed bugs. It can also be helpful to use a flashlight while checking in order to see any bed bugs that may be hiding underneath. If bed bugs are found, take steps to get rid of them and clean the area thoroughly. In addition, bedding and other items that may have come into contact with bed bugs should be washed in hot water and dried on the hottest setting available in order to prevent bed bugs from spreading further. Tip number three. Clean any bed bug infested surfaces with a wet rag or sponge and soap. Once bed bugs have been located and identified, clean any bed bug infested surfaces with a wet rag or sponge and soap. This will help to remove bed bug eggs, bed bug fecal matter, and bed bug body parts. Note that bed bugs can spread quickly, so cleaning these surfaces as soon as bed bugs are identified is essential in order to stop them from spreading further. Tip number four. Use bed bug traps to help identify bed bugs in your home and monitor their activity. Bed bug traps are an effective way to identify bed bugs in your home and monitor their activity. These traps use a carbon dioxide lure to attract bed bugs and capture them on sticky adhesive paper, allowing you to more easily locate bed bugs in your home and take steps to get rid of them. Using bed bug traps is also important for monitoring bed bug activity in your home and determining if bed bugs are still present. Tip number five. Vacuum your home, especially any bedding or upholstered furniture. Vacuuming your home is a critical part of bed bug removal. Make sure you move furniture and bedding to vacuum any hidden bed bugs. Use a high-powered vacuum cleaner with attachments such as a crevice tool to remove bed bugs. Pay special attention to bed frames and mattresses, especially around the edges and tufts. A high-powered vacuum cleaner is an ideal tool for bed bug removal because they are specifically designed to remove bed bugs from hard-to-reach areas. The powerful suction of a high-powered vacuum can reach bed bugs in tight corners and behind furniture, bed frames, and other items. Additionally, a high-powered vacuum has an airtight sealing system, which prevents bed bugs from escaping back into the environment. Once finished, immediately discard the vacuum bag in an outdoor trash can. Discarding the vacuum bag in an outdoor trash can after vacuuming to rid your home of bed bugs is an important step. This helps to ensure that bed bug eggs, larvae, and adults don't escape back into your home when you're done cleaning. Tip number six. Wash bedding, clothing, and other bed bug infested items in hot water and heat dry them. 
wash bedding, clothing, and other items that bed bugs may have come into contact with in hot water, 190 degrees Fahrenheit, if possible, and won't damage your fabrics. Next, dry them on the hottest setting your machine allows. This is another important step to get rid of bed bugs. This is because bed bugs and their eggs cannot survive temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, thus preventing them from spreading throughout your home. To ensure this temperature is achieved, drying these materials for a longer period of time will be necessary. In addition, bed bugs can survive in temperatures as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit and their eggs can survive even lower temperatures, so make sure that the items are washed and dried at the highest temperature possible. Be sure to use a liquid laundry detergent with your bedding, clothing, and other items. This will help to break down the bed bugs' tough exoskeleton and make it easier for you to get rid of them. Once done, immediately transfer the bedding, clothing, and other items from the washer to the dryer in order to prevent bed bugs from escaping back into the environment. Tip number seven. Treat any bed bug infested area with an insecticide or bed bug spray specifically designed for bed bugs. Once bed bugs have been identified and any bed bug infested surfaces have been cleaned, treat the area with an insecticide or bed bug spray specifically designed for bed bugs. These products can help to kill bed bugs on contact and provide a barrier to prevent them from coming back. Follow the instructions on the product label and take any additional steps necessary to ensure bed bugs are completely eliminated from your home. Tip number eight. Seal cracks around the baseboards, windows, and door frames to prevent bed bugs from entering. In addition to using bed bug treatments, seal cracks around the baseboards, windows, and door frames in order to prevent bed bugs from entering your home. These cracks can provide bed bugs with easy access into your home and should be sealed in order to keep bed bugs out. Tip number nine. Place bed bug proof covers over mattresses and box springs if possible. Using bed bug proof covers can help to stop bed bugs from infesting your bedding and furniture. Bed bug proof covers are designed to create a barrier between bed bugs and mattresses or box springs, preventing them from entering the bedding and furniture. These covers should be placed on all mattresses and box springs in the home, especially if bed bugs have been found in those areas. They should be left on the mattresses and box springs for at least 12 months to ensure that all bed bugs and eggs have been eliminated. Note that bed bug proof covers are not a substitute for bed bug removal. This is more of a preventative measure. You should still take measures such as vacuuming, washing bedding, and using a high-powered vacuum cleaner to help get rid of bed bugs in your home. Tip number 10. Have a professional come in and inspect your home for bed bugs if you are unable to get rid of them on your own. But what if bed bugs are still present in your home despite your best efforts to get rid of them? Then it's important to have a professional come in and inspect your home for bed bugs. A professional will be able to assess the situation and provide you with the necessary advice on how to effectively eradicate bed bugs from your home. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.